Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a 1949 movie called Caught. This is a film directed by Max Ophels. stars Robert Ryan, Barbara Bel Geddes, and James Mason. It's a thinly veiled portrait, fictional portrait of Howard Hughes. Max Ophels was a very cultured European director forced to come, forced to leave Europe because of the Nazi invasions. Comes to Hollywood, can't find a job. Um, Preston Sturgis, who I believe was working at RKO at the time, recommended uh, to Howard Hughes to employ Ophuls. Uh, and then two days into his filming of a movie called Vendetta, he was uh, removed from, from the uh, movie and in a very publicly humiliating way. So this is kind of, of uh, Max Ophuls' way of getting back at Howard Hughes. He used some uh, incidents uh, of, or at least aspects of the character that he himself saw in Howard Hughes, and uh, also uh, some accounts by some of the girls who were his girlfriends uh, during this period of time. Uh, Hughes is played by Robert Ryan. It's an indelible portrait of an egomaniac. Egomaniacs are probably much more interesting on film than they are in real life. A very disturbed man who recognizes that goes to a uh, uh, psychoanalyst. Um, he, uh, he, in the end, he has a bit, kind of an unhealthy relationship with a pinball machine. Uh, he, he marries Barbara Bel Geddes. Barbara Bel Geddes plays a impoverished young woman who dreams of marrying a millionaire. She gets her wish. Uh, in the opening shot, she's looking at uh, a fashion magazine, admiring all the beautiful clothes and especially Ming Coates. Ming Coates was very much a, a part of uh, the uh, status symbol that women had in the 1940s and 50s. She wants to maintain her, her, uh, her values. She's naive. Uh, he tempts her, uh, Robert Ryan tempts her with uh, the wealth that comes with it. She convinces herself that she actually loves this guy, uh, but is not very happy in her uh, uh, in her uh, marriage uh, he humiliates her in front of other people she can't stand it he says you just married for money she leaves uh, goes and lives in a slum and uh, in there who does she meet but James Mason the pediatrician working in the slums uh, Mason had been offered the Howard Hughes part turned it down because he had he had made he had already uh, performed as a villain in, in other movies. This is his first American film, and he doesn't seem at all to be what you would ever expect to see as a doctor with his elegance and his diction, and uh, both Ryan and, um, and of course, the love affair develops between them. Um, Ryan and, and Mason were, of course, especially at this time, uh, able to uh, deliver powerhouse scenes, and they actually have one scene together in a uh, garage where they really let loose, and it's uh, one of the best scenes in the film. So it, it, it strangely enough, uh, it, it has just as much of an anti-materialistic theme as the movie I talked about yesterday, Force of Evil. Uh, we see an egomaniac uh, capitalist who cares only about power and wealth and all the spiritual uh, uh, corruption that results from that, um, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, John Luc Godard said that um, uh, Caught was the best of the four films that Max Ophuls made in America. He after those four films, he goes to France and makes a series of uh, what are now considered his masterpieces. Uh, I would probably prefer Letter from an Unknown Woman over Caught, but nevertheless, this is a pretty good movie. The ending is a bit seems to have been a bit softened, and that probably in the original version, it meant to be harsh and softened by the studio. Um, and in these kind of movies, we often see um, uh, actors that are in the beginning of their career, they're not actually uh, um, any kind, they're not even playing supporting roles, they just pop up in a scene, and we see and she's credited in the, in the opening credits, so I knew Natalie Schaefer was going to be in this uh, movie. And of course, she play she would go on to TV fame uh, later in the 1960s as uh, 
Mrs. Howell Lovey. But uncredited in the, in the uh, credits was uh, an actress who immediately caught my attention, Barbara Billingsley. <clears throat> she, I looked through her credits and boy, she made a lot of uncredited appearances in movies. She, in this movie, she just wanders through a, a uh, department store and has, I think, maybe two lines and quickly disappears. Uh, Barbara Billingsley later on would make some TV appearances, credited TV appearances, and then she would, she would uh, reach uh, immortality, at least in my mind, as the mother in Leave It to Beaver, June Cleaver. Every time I watch a uh, old episode of Leave It to Beaver, which I I, <laughs> I often do, uh, I'm, o I'm always it's almost like I'm watching a documentary of my own childhood. <laughs> all the uh, scrapes that uh, the beeve gets into. But back to, back to Caught, unfortunately, like the film I saw yesterday, Force of Evil, this has no Blu-ray. It had a Blu-ray released by Olive. It seems it's out of print. I couldn't even find a used copy to be available on eBay. Um, and um, it, in the, the only in the United States, at least according to JustWatch.com, it's only available for streaming on the Criterion channel. So, um, uh, for everybody that has reached the end of this video, I thank you very much for your kind attention, and I will catch you next time.